Then come on, Sergei. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach Set it up before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything, in case you don't like his answers. Major. Is that left or right? Ah, same difference. You have no idea how right you are. <laughs> This lady has no desire to dance with you. Imagine if there were two of them. The twin is using everything she has to kill you. Use everything you have. Project, approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political... Abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism, establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the Atomic Heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Greetings, honored members of the Politburo. I am pleased to inform you that the Atomic Heart Project is now complete and ready for launch. This is a top secret project designed to crush the resistance of our class enemies in Western Europe, East Asia, and of course, North America. As you know, Facility 3826 has been a player on the capitalist market for many years now, 
providing a labor force, i.e. robots, to the entire world free of charge as a way to skirt sanctions. We have intentionally refused to sell some of our devices, such as burabs and condors, while pretending not to be interested in the others and accepting payment only for maintenance and repair. The distribution of these robots has already led to civil unrest due to growing unemployment in rival countries. But more importantly, it has also led to our devices being located in strategic targets, without exception, including nuclear power plants. In order to bring about the triumph of... At full speed, the GMC-69 geodesic monocycle's wheels can slice a man's body in half. Its standard loadout includes a 7.62 millimeter machine gun that can be replaced with a flamethrower or laser gun. This robot's extremities are made out of PTA-4 for improved human spine-breaking performance. The NAT-256 Natasha heavy-duty ground-based loader bot can squeeze up to 5 liters of blood from a human body in under 20 seconds. Designed as a mobile healthcare unit, the dog cannot replace a medic or paramedic, but it is quite adept at performing autopsies. The Bumblebee has a silent mode for infiltrating enemy lines and gathering intelligence. Acting as an exoskeleton for a pluche based neuropolymer creature, the Dewdrop is a highly capable combat unit whose laser beam penetration rate for human flesh is a staggering 0.1. The hauler is capable of detaining intruders with a special clamp. It is programmed to keep the subject pinned to the ground. The ideal anti-personnel operator, programmed with advanced melee techniques, prioritizing breaking victims' necks to ensure zero survival. A light reconnaissance drone. A group of owls can lift an enemy off the ground. And the MFU-68 laborer is heavily represented among the robotic staff of prisons, where it carries out... Designed as a freight drone, the DROFA also doubles as a punitive expedition unit. Its unique Archimedes screw rotors can chop a human body into bits as efficiently as an industrial grade meat grinder. Fading data. Authorization. Major. Boss? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Calm Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. And it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both. 
then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. The actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, Bullet. <laughs> this is exactly what I want to correct. You just walk into my office with a loaded gun. Stop messing with my head. So one of these robots is Ekaterina Nechaiba, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sergei. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Sheridan. <laughs> Dimitri is suggesting that I'll be hurt. You will be next, Major. Find me. Will you really kill your own wife, Sergei?
You lousy okay, piece you don't of understand. shit. Sheraton's manipulating you. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> did you use my agent to tear her limb from I'm limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> You motherfucker, this whole time! I've had quite enough of you, Major. Your job is done! P3, my boy! Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. You're evil? What? What are you going to do to humanity? And Collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. No. Not charity. No. no. I change. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished.